Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I am with my sister, and uh, for this one, whoa, excuse me, I uh, we're gonna go vlogging. We got a bit of a Q and A. Ella wants to get a snack, so uh, that's what we're probably gonna do. Let's turn the truck off. There we go. All right, let's head out. Are you excited? Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a guy actually standing right there, and he's flying a drone. You can see the drone there. There's about a hundred geese right there, but he's flying the drone right over top of the geese. Ladies and gents, as we get through here, we are at the park. All right, we're at the park. Um, I have almost no clue where we're gonna set up our camera and do our vlog. Ella, are you excited? Mm. You're pretty excited? I'm excited. I just gotta find somewhere that's not windy and hopefully somewhere quiet where people won't look at us and think we're weird because we're talking to a camera. All right, so where we're actually supposed to go is way down that way. It's actually down, down this road. We could take the truck, drive down this road to there, but instead Ella wants to go to that bench right there. This is your what? Those are your climbing boots? <laughs> we, uh, yeah, those are, ex my mom, okay. Funny story, so my mom bought those boots for my sister as kind of, $40. $40 apparently. And they're supposed to be kind of nice dress boots. Well, the day she gets them, or the day after we get them, we decide, hey Elle, I'm gonna teach you how to go rock climbing. So, and I we think, went, can I change my boots first? We went way up into those mountains. You can't see them, they're kind of on the other side of those, uh, those houses over there. Ella's like, can I go change my boots? I'm like, you won't you won't need it. It's it's not gonna be that bad. Anyway, we basically destroyed those boots. Yeah, they're a little scuffed up now, but hey, that's all part of the adventure. Alright, I hope it's not too loud, but uh, let's get on Twitter. So I tweeted at you guys saying that Ella and I were gonna do a Q and A, and I'm sorry, I'll pan around to the other side in a sec. We got the light coming on this side, so of course you guys don't uh, you guys don't have a glare. But it's pretty beautiful. We've got a lake sitting over here. We've got big mountains. I'll show you guys here in a bit. But uh, you ready to get into the Q&A? Mm -hmm. And I promised to get her Tim Hortons after this. I promised to get her a donut. Or... You want a coffee? No. Yeah, you don't want a coffee? All right, I'm going to get a coffee. First question comes from Quen Lamon. Ella, what would you do if you were invisible for a day? Uh, I'd go around and scare, scare people. <laughs> you'd go around and scare people if you were invisible for a day? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That uh, That's what I assume you would do. If I was invisible for a day, I would hold random things in the air just to creep people out. Like, people would be wondering, hey, why is that branch floating? <laughs> but realistically, I'm holding it above. Okay, people are staring at me because I'm... <laughs> waving my hands around. There's literally like 40 people here. You guys can see all of the people down there. Those are all of the people that are just, they're staring at me. They're staring at me while I'm wave, while I wave my hands around. Ah, uh, what a view though. What a, what a beautiful view. Okay, one thing I know for sure is I need to hit record on the camera before we start doing our Q&A. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Alright, next question comes from Brayden, Uller, Brayden Utters, and he says, Would you rather shave the sides of your head permanently or the top of your head permanently? Top. You'd rather shave the top of your head permanently? <laughs> so you, you would look like an old man that's balding. You would have hair throughout here, but all throughout the top here you'd be completely bald. Uh -huh. You're okay with that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm the opposite. I think there's a lot better hairstyles to go with the side shave. Like I could go with like, I don't know, something like Mark, where it's super short on the side, long, the top is a little bit longer. 
But if you go bald on the top and long on the sides, you're just gonna look like a weirdo. <laughs> All right, so the next the next question comes from The next question comes from Natalie, and she says, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? This one goes to you. Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> you know, I'm not as boring as Elle is. I could, I could say vanilla or chocolate or strawberry, but I'm more adventurous than that. I'm gonna go with something along the lines of Tiger Tiger. Have you ever had Tiger Tiger? No. You, you've never had Tiger Tiger? Okay, so if you've never had Tiger Tiger ice cream, Look it up, do yourself a favor and look it up. It's orange and black, it's literally striped like a tiger. But it's a mix of like black licorice and... I don't like black licorice. Orange yeah, ice cream. I, I hate black licorice too, but trust me, in, uh, in Tiger Tiger, is good. Mitch's, Mitch's right leg asks, what's your favorite movie, Ella? Goosebumps. Goosebumps? Seriously? Mm -hmm. You like Goosebumps? Well, no, Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> I haven't seen either of those movies, but I know they're both kind of scary movies, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't watch Goosebumps, I'll be honest. <laughs> you asked me to watch Goosebumps, and I told you, no, I am not good with those type of movies. My favorite movie has to be... I don't know. I have a lot of really good movies. Although, I don't know, I like funny movies. Like, Superbad is a fantastic movie. Uh, Project X, fantastic movie. Uh, <laughs> in, unless you're, like, 18 years old, don't watch either of those. But I'm also into, into superheroes. Spider-Man, the, the original Spider-Mans, they were really good. Superman's are pretty good. The Avengers are also really good. Iron Man, you know, I'm kind of into anything. I'm, uh, I'll watch whatever movie you put in front of me. Okay. Nelly also asks, how is having such a big age give age difference between you guys? What do you think? Do you like the, the age difference or would you rather us be closer together? Closer. You'd rather us be closer in age? Mm -hmm. How old would you want me to be? 13. You want me to be 13 and you to be 7? Why? <laughs> what's, what's the difference between me being 13 or 19 for you? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You would just think I'm more annoying if I was 13. I'd be bugging you way more than I do already now. Yeah, no. <laughs> alright, alright. Mitch's right leg asks, what's the grilled cheese story? Alright, so the story is, I was babysitting Ella one day, Mama Mitch was brave enough to leave me alone with, uh, with the little one. So, it's about time for dinner, it's probably 5, 6 o'clock at night, stomachs are starting to grumble and I'm thinking, hey, it's a manly man that I am, I could make us some dinner, I could whip us up something decent. So I decided to do grilled cheese, right? I was gonna make, I think, two of them for me, and I'm talking super loud. I'm pretty sure people can hear me over on the over on the beach. <laughs> anyway, so I'm thinking, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna make some grilled cheese, I'm gonna make Ella one, and I'm gonna make me two. It's gonna be fantastic. Greatest grilled cheese I've ever had. They weren't the best grilled cheese I've ever had. No. Um, turns out at this point, this was about a year ago, I have l slightly learned and moved past this, but it turns out when you make grilled cheese, you don't just crank it on high and you just don't dump butter into the pan, which is what I did. So, long story short, made the first two grilled cheeses, they were burnt. They were awful. Ella's like, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not eating that. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. So what? Made two more, whipped up two more, they were burnt. Now we're up to four grilled cheeses and they're all just black, right? Finally, on the fifth attempt, I got one that was somewhat edible, hey? 
it was decent. Maybe not to mum's standards, but for my standard, hey, it was it was a grilled cheese. It was good enough. I gave Ella the half not burnt one, and I think I ended up eating four burnt, uh, four burnt grilled cheeses just back to back. Just load of ketchup. And I just went hard at it. Simply Meg asks, where in the world would you guys want to travel and sightsee together? Ella, where do you want to travel in the entire world? London. You want to go to London? Mm. Ontario? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> or do you mean London, England? Uh, England. England? Okay. She wants to go to London, England, yes. I will, per yes, we will at one point definitely be in London. That's definitely on my bucket list. What else? I got a lot of places on my bucket list. New York was on my bucket list. It's crossed out now. New York was pretty cool. Yeah. I want to see South America. That's one thing. Would you would you tra travel South America with me? Mm -hmm. Through Brazil and Argentina? Mm -hmm. Nice. I want to go to Jamaica too. <laughs> to Jamaica. That's awesome. All right, G-Bomb Games asks, Ella, do you ever watch my videos? Yes. Yes. Which ones do you watch? Every one. Every single one. And mm -hmm. which ones are your favorite? Minecraft. Minecraft. Do you like CSGO? Kinda. Kinda, okay. It's on the fence. It's not bad. She used to not like it, but I'm slowly converting her to a CSGO fanatic. You don't even get that joke, but fanatic's a professional team. Ah. <laughs> I just used a CSGO joke. That was funny. Uh, Mitch's right leg asks, would Ella like me to draw a picture of her like this one? Do you want a picture like that, Elle? Mm, sure. Sure? Alright, Mitch's right leg, you heard it. She wants a picture. XX Mini Mayhem XX asks, Do you love me? No, not love me, love her. Do you uh, love her? <laughs> I never met her before, but okay. Yes, the answer is we love you. Dancer Girl Loves asks, What is your favorite song at the moment? And I think we actually share the same song. If she says the one I'm thinking of, it's gonna be great. Uh, My House. No, that's not the, <laughs> it's not the one I was thinking of. You change your favorite song like once every two days. <laughs> You told me yesterday that your favorite song was Seven Years. I have a lot of Oh yeah, songs. I remember that song now, Ella. <laughs> we were trying to be coordinated there. Hunter Olden asks, will I ever get to see Ella at a convention? Uh, when I'm older? Possibly when she's older. Uh, yes, if I'm still going to conventions when she's a little bit older, she will absolutely tag on to one of them. Dancer Girl Love also asks, if you could be any animal for a day, what animal would it be and why? By the way, Ella is probably the biggest fan of animals I've ever met. <laughs> like when I when I come upstairs, I try to talk about CSGO, she shuts me down to talk about animals. I don't talk, we can't talk about anything other than animals, right? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> all right. And your animal of choice would be? It's not an animal, but a fly. <laughs> why? You could be, oh, hold on, hold on, you could be any animal in the world and you choose to be a fly. Yeah. The small, probably one I of the most- I could annoy you. You could That's annoy why. me. You already do. You already bug me. Get it? Bug? Like a fly? Yeah. yeah. Bug? Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Is it any different? <laughs> your nope. favorite animal is still a fly? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask what's your what's your favorite animal, but she'd also reply a fly. <laughs> really? Not a horse? Not a cow? Not a sea otter? A giraffe? An anteater? A fly. <laughs> That's what you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> Ella is aspiring to be a fly when she's older. That's her goals in life. <laughs> At hacking though asked, what is your favorite food? Um, I think I know this one. This yeah, one. I definitely know this one. It's Hamburger. A, yeah. Then where? Uh, McDonald's. The Golden Arches. <laughs> it's the one place, man. Like, I, you could eat there for the rest of your life. Uh -huh. Every single day. Uh -huh. I don't know how you do it. I think my favorite food would have to be something nice, like a steak dinner at a place that's like $200 a plate. But nope, Ella wants to go for the $7.99 Big Mac meal. <laughs> Nancy Perez says, what's your favorite One Direction song? Uh, history. History? Is that One Direction? Yeah. We just heard it today. Oh, lot of history. I don't know if that was One Direction, though. We just heard it today. <laughs> no, we heard it driving down it. here. I was going to vlog you singing the song, but I was I was too late. I didn't catch it. But, but that's a good song. You want to sing it? Nope. A whole lot of history. You're not going to join in? Nope. Okay, okay. FZ Paradise asks, who would you choose to be your partner? Deadpool, The Flash, or Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster. Okay. First of all, you don't know anyone other than the Cookie Monster in that list. Do you, exactly. know who, do you know who Deadpool is? Nope. I'll be honest, I've never seen or played a Deadpool video game, so 
I don't really know what Deadpool's about. I heard he's funny, and I'd probably choose him because he'd probably make me laugh. But I don't, I've never seen anything of Deadpool. The Flash is pretty cool. The Flash, his superpower is to run super fast. Like, he could probably run all the way around the world by the time we finish this vlog. Yeah, amazing. And the Cookie Monster just eats all your cookies. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go with him. If you get a death ban exemption on Factions Chrome, can you make a di video with your shirt off dancing? No. Kawaii Nemo asks, Would you rather get attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Big bear. A big bear? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm down with the bear too. Because, like, a bear is one. I think one animal is decently, man like, manageable. If there's, like, a hundred thousand bees coming at me, I can't swat them all away. Like, if a bear's coming, I have one thing to focus <laughs> on. It's like, okay, avoid the teeth. But there's, when there's like a thousand stingers whizzing by me, there's nothing I can do. You just, you run and hope they don't murder you. And the last one, Savage, Al Savage Alex asks, what's your favorite sibling moment you've had together? Um, rock climbing. Rock climbing was pretty cool. That was a memorable day. We were way, again, you can't see him, but way on the top of those mountains. And it was, it was getting dark. We could hear coyotes. I called mom, mom's like, where are you guys? I'm like, I'll be honest, we're in the middle of the bush. <laughs> She's like, the sun's going down, get back to the car. So we basically just had to run. You carried me though, right? You piggybacked me? Mm -mm. No, <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> all right, and I believe that concludes this week's segment. Or not this week's segment, but I think every Saturday I'd like to do a video with this one. With this little one. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like if you guys... Cannon, why do you have to make uh, a, a battery on your cameras last literally 15 minutes. This was a full charge and this Q&A killed the entire battery. Is the red light still going? Yeah. You tell me when that red light stops because the battery, the camera's completely out of batteries and it stopped in the outro. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next one. Quick, uh, he's coming. Good run. <laughs>